Good morning, afternoon, and evening, Brewberries, wherever you are in the world. Hello. How are you today? I hope you are doing well. A little bit of a different intro because I'm experimenting and I decided to. I'm in a decent mood. I got up, been up for like four hours, and it's not even 11 o'clock, so that's good. I know that doesn't sound that impressive, but when you're working from home all the time, it's the little things in life, am I right? Yo. What are we doing today? Well, let's let's just get into it because you know what? There's a lot to do today. We're working on this guy right here, this uh, unimpressive granite blob. Uh, we are going to be working on that. The granite is actually not going to be utilized at all, so that's fine. We're going to have to tear it all down, but oh well, that's okay. Uh, we're going to be using terracotta, so this all gets to stay, which is, that's good. Um, but last episode, we made the beacon that is all the way down at the bottom of the world. I have done absolutely zero things between last ep last episode and now, and uh, we're going to actually be doing stuff now because primarily I didn't do anything because I wanted to dig a hole with you. And uh, so we're going to do that real quick. I want to get more resources uh, for today's build. What we're going to need is a fair amount of copper and stone and uh i also need oop, do that for safeties uh and then how much terracotta we got yeah we're gonna need more terracotta so we're gonna have to go and dig that up and then we're gonna need a fair amount of quartz let's put you back oh wait no this i was gonna use for the beacon uh plants go in here this can go right here that's good right there that sounds like a place uh, got tons of torches for digging. And then what was I going to do? Quartz. Is quartz in here somewhere? I think it's actually right here. So I think this is plenty of quartz. We have a little bit left over if we need more. I think this is plenty because we just need some quartz pillars. Um, and then we're using diorite. So we're doing a very similar style uh, to what this building actually has going on with some of the mixture of diorite and quartz to make some white accents, but we're not doing an astronomical amount of uh, quartz making. So I think we have enough quartz. So I don't think we have to go into the nether today, which is great because I really don't want to. Let's throw this away right there. Uh, let's check our copper. That's what we need. I have truly no clue if this is enough. But because we're going to be digging a big hole and trying to use up all of these torches and stuff, probably we'll run into some copper. So probably going to have a little bit more. And I, that will be good because we'll definitely need it. Something I actually want to try. We're going to just see if this works. Um, uh, let's grab a few blocks so that we can actually like truly test this. Let's just grab eight. I want to see if I place these on the ocean floor do they oxidize or not as if they do then that's a problem if they don't then that's actually really cool because my my somewhat understanding is that they should only oxidize if they're exposed to air one two three four five one two three four five and i think that should be good uh we're gonna need to Move this, and then let's do this. One, two, three, four, five, boop. Oh, hello there. Get out of here. All right. So uh, this is going to be a test just to purely see if underwater, if it oxidizes. If it does, whatever, that's fine. We'll get beeswax and get it in the state that we want it to. It kind of needs to actually oxidize all the way anyways. So I may go and set it all of these up over on our our copper island unless they actually oxidize underwater if they do i'm kind of hoping they do oh that was the conduit the conduit made a sound i was real real confused uh also i'm not really sure if uh this stone stuff is gonna stay or not i can't remember i already have a design picked out i haven't played minecraft in a little while been playing actually if you've ever played the game dragon's dogma Man, I've been playing way too much of that. I just beat it like for the first time fully all the way through. And it was uh, pretty darn stellar and I really enjoyed it. If you're looking for a game to play that is like Skyrim or like Dark Souls or a little bit like Monster Hunter, then I would recommend you play Dragon's Dogma. It is a semi-hidden gem of a game and I, I love it. 
it's a game that I can play over and over again. And I would, I just honestly, I know this is a Minecraft channel, but if you haven't ever played it and you like fantasy RPG type games, give Dragon's Dogma a go because it's wonderful. I could not, I, I honestly can't praise it enough. Just such a good game. It's so fun. But enough praising. Let's go get some resources because I I desperately, desperately need terracotta and I desperately want to get the dock area fleshed out because that's the goal. The goal today is get the dock basically done. Uh, so this path is going to be connected up all the way with some andesite and stuff. We're going to actually like fully connect that up. I want to plan out whatever build size this is going to be right here. And then maybe do some decoration on the hillside here. So I really want just like this lower section area to be done in terms of the, the builds themselves. And then we can have some little decor bits going on later on. I'm not really sure how I want to do the docks in terms of actual dock area for like ships and stuff, because I'm trying to trying to debate on if I want to have wooden docks sticking out or if this is enough, I don't think it's enough. I think I do want to have some some wooden docks sticking out. I'm just not sure where and I'm not sure how many. So we're going to have to see, but that can come later. Let's go get some resource gathering grind going and I'll see you guys in just a few. Like we're not actually going to do resource gathering on camera because that's boring and uh, I already have resources enough to be able to start doing the build. So I figured I'd show you at least a little bit of what it's going to look like. Let's start over on this side. I think that'll be easier. So I already have these scaffoldings are here for a reason. Uh, this is where the pillars and stuff are going to be. So we're going to have a pillar right here and out by one. Um, so it's going to be like a right catty corner to this corner uh, block here. And so it'll be right in this block. So we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in between. And thankfully this all spaced out nicely. So seven blocks in between every single pillar. The pillars are gonna be made out of chiseled quartz, pillar quartz and copper. This is going to be a copper intensive build, which is a bit of a pain. And so I actually don't know how much of it we're gonna be able to do today because the copper is a pain. Also, let's take a look and see if this copper has aged. Ah, it does look like it ages underwater. Okay, well, to me, that doesn't necessarily make sense, but that's okay. We can roll with it. We need it to age anyways, so not that big of a deal, uh, but we're going to get going anyways with it. So let's go quartz, pillars, and copper. We're going to need all of those, and let's just get on into it. Uh, I need to actually figure out how tall it needs to be first. Okay, so the block that's going to go right here will be like this and there will be a copper block on top so this whole area is actually going to be essentially like fully walled off to where you won't be able to even jump over it really um i think that'll be fine we can change the top of it i'm not sold on the top uh, but for the design purposes the pillars will at least come up this tall and then we'll figure out the guardrails thereafter because i've done the guardrails in copper and they may have to go to prismarine just to save a little bit on whoa dolphin jumping up there like a crazy man or crazy doll fan. Uh, anyways, let us continue. So this is what we're doing. It's copper block, chiseled quartz, uh, pillar quartz, chiseled quartz, copper block, and then all the way down. So chisel, column, chisel, copper, chisel, column, chisel, copper. And this one's gonna be a little strange because this block, whoa, Bro, get off me. I don't like it when you're next to me like that. Uh, column, and then, well, not really sure. I think what we're gonna do is I'll take some stone, and you know what, we'll just grab this guy, and we'll just go ahead, take this, because the bow is useless underwater, and we'll do that. So that's how, some of these are gonna just kinda look like they go into the ground, and that's gonna be fine but that gives us a good reference as to what level these are at so we can then start doing all of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and right here should line up beautifully, wonderful. And then this, and then this one, we can actually do that. 
Uh, so it's going to be a little wacky, but that's okay because, I mean, even this will have gravel on top, so we probably even will remove these columns. Um, but I don't have any gravel, so I can't really do anything with it. Uh, so then copper, and we're just doing this, and I'm just going to do this for this section. Uh, we're just going to do one section at a time right now because of the limited resources, and so I definitely will have to go and get resources. Uh, but I wanted to at least start it with you because I think, is it getting night? Oh, it definitely is getting night. Okay, uh, chisel this, chisel copper. Very good. Okay, so that section done. Uh, now we can get into the actual build itself, which requires us to tear down all of the granite, which is just a pain in the booty. I cannot believe that I went and built this and then I'm going to have to go and tear it all down. But the good news is, this stuff, the uh, dripstone, does not really have to change that much. We just have to kind of figure out how tall it's actually going to be. Okay, and with some minor alterations to this, I'm going to actually make it make sure that all of the copper blocks at the bottom can show because that is really helpful in selling this. Um, and so the cool thing is you can start seeing like how it's going to start tying in to this area here. And so the theme of it is going to essentially be going from regular copper like this uh, all the way up. Now, I'm going to make sure that all the copper is at least aged by one degree. Um, so it's going to be semi, very, very semi-aged copper that ages all the way up to different, to like the fully patinate. So the top is going to be green. This down here is going to start fading. And then down here, the uh, aged copper actually, let's actually grab one so I can show you this, this copper right here. Um, we'll have to get some beeswax and stuff to make it actually look decent uh, and look like what it's supposed to. But the cool thing about this copper block when it's aged like this is it will actually... Oh, I did this. I think I did this wrong. I think this is one. Yes, I need this to extend down uh let's i guess swim through there boop and then swim around um the cool thing about this this copper block this particular age is it goes really really well with the drip stone so that i think is really cool i am quite a big fan of that and then the thing that i wanted to do yeah yeah this all needs to be shifted down by one so we'll go there there and then you can go there and we'll break you because the dripstone is only going to go where in the world okay that just glitched through the block a little bit the dripstone only goes up to this block and then we're doing like this gradient effect that you'll start seeing to get into a uh, less aged old looking type of build I, it'll make more sense when i get it done so let me go ahead and uh, do just a little bit more Oh, 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 okay, so hopefully this will start making a little bit more sense. I know currently there's a drowned behind me, and I hate it. Where are you? What do you want? There's two drowns. Yeah, how about you both die? I don't want you in my life. Uh, so we're going to be going, uh, the granite, as I said, is going away, but the block that's going here is the light gray terracotta it goes wonderfully with this color palette and uh, the reason we're going with terracotta is because we are fading into the uh into like an orange that's going to really bring out the contrast of the patinate copper and i think it's going to look a uh, very good and i'm really actually quite excited with it so let's go maybe we go here uh, and then let's bring this up. It needs to come up a little bit. Um, and then perhaps we go like this. Uh, and then this one's going to come up. No, there. This one's going to come up roughly around there. And then let's just start gradient, grady, gradient, gradienting, gradienting. I don't know exactly what I'm trying to say here. I don't know what the verb would be of that, um, but that's okay. And I think that's good. Maybe this. Oh, nope, not that block. That's okay. We can we can put whatever there. Um, I think that. What was that noise? 
some of these underwater noises are freaky, and I am not a big fan of them. So these will age eventually, and then once they're fully aged, I'll go through and I'll wax them. But the next step is actually intermixing copper into this. And when and you have to imagine this block being here. So let's uh, transition this. Let's put that back, and then let's put this guy here so you can start seeing what it looks like so there is the direct combination of the colors that is what it's going to start looking like and um, we're going to have a mixture of these guys and then also the uh what is it, block of copper and the cut copper we're going to have a mixture of those and then i'm going to also throw in a few stairs as well so let me go ahead and get on into some more building of this and then I'll bring you back in to see the actual final like look of what this section is going to look like and then we'll do maybe a time lapse of actually building out the rest of it I think that'd be good this episode don't know if it's going to be shorter longer or whatever we may it may be shorter because we're going to run out of copper I can almost guarantee it but that's okay is the life uh oh it's night I'm not a fan all right, so I got the gradient done, and this is what it's starting to look like. Let's let the uh, this doohickey fade in for a moment. There's a dead guy. Let's get rid of him. Building underwater is fairly nice because you can float around, and it's kind of like creative a little bit. But it's a bit pain, a bit of a pain when you have to deal with people. But here is the gradient. And uh, eventually, obviously, this all will be pretty much all of this down here up to like this point is going to be that color. So it's going to be much more apparent that it blends in uh, instead of sticking out. Like it's just not as contrasty, uh, which is good. And this color actually goes decently with this as well. Um, and then it will start, a couple of these may end up being a, the next stage where it is, do we have one? That color, where it's a bit more green, but still has a little bit of the uh, kind of like coppery feel. Uh, and then the top layer is going to be all that like either third stage or fully oxidized, which is going to be good. But I, I want to make it look like it's pretty worn and torn a little bit. Uh, so what we're going to do now is the top section, which is going to be all of this area here. So we're going to have these. Now, I didn't get rid of the granite because it doesn't really matter that much because there's going to be stuff covering most of it. Um, but we're going to have stairs like so. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get on top. And on top of these stairs will be a pillar, a pillar, and a pillar. And then there will be block, block, block with slab, slab, and slab, and slab. And then going between right here, and then there needs to be, we need some prismarine, which will look much better once everything is aged. Uh, we'll have slabs in between like so. And that is what the top is going to be. But imagine it fully patinaed and it'll end up looking pretty decent. Probably by the time I actually start building the rest of this, this should hopefully all be patinaed based on just I'm going to be digging underneath. So they'll be loaded and aging. Hopefully that's what it'll look like. But this is what it ends up all looking like together. I think it's going to look really good once it's actually aged. Um, but we obviously have to wait for that. So that is what this is going to look like. And then up top, it's going to be a little difficult for me to show because I don't have any of the blocks. And we may not be able to do it now because I haven't found a coral reef. Uh, but I want to use dead coral. And I may incorporate, I don't have to go and obliterate every coral reef area. Um, I may incorporate more data packs that are just about kind of like the sustainability aspect of like not destroying a coral reef. Um, there's a monster nearby. Why? Is it underneath me? Let's uh, over here. Is that good? Okay, good. Um, so I'm probably, oh, there's a skeleton legit right there. That's probably why. Okay, well, die skeleton. Boom, dead. Okay. So that is what uh, I'm probably going to do and did jump shot. Uh, I'm going to probably just make that. So I still have to go and find coral, but then once I have it, I can kind of just craft it with the like coral fern things. And I think that'll be good. I think that's a, a, a totally worthy investment of 
data pack usage because the kind of the goal is that we'll have this andesite and terracotta transition into and so this top layer actually does need to be terracotta uh right here this all needs to be terracotta um so it'll all fade together uh but other than that a lot of the filler blocks can be can remain granite and stuff so it's not that big of a deal um, so eventually this will be very green. This will be this orange and they'll contrast nicely. And uh, the goal of it is kind of to show like it's newer, so it's not necessarily oxidized fully. Um, uh, and so the parts and the parts that have oxidized are the ones exposed to air. The ones underneath are oxidizing very much, much slower than the rest because it's not exposed to nearly as much oxygen, perhaps. Uh, I don't know if that's actually realistic, but I thought it was a cool idea. And it also transitions into a little bit more of like a aged look uh, as you go down and like the water aging it and all that stuff so who knows if that's realistic but i'm gonna stop blabbing i'm gonna go ahead and get to mining and gathering up more we're gonna definitely need more copper because this is not gonna give us all that we desire um, but that's okay because uh this is just an expensive build and we're, we should probably invest in a copper farm at some point using a zombie spawner but i have not found one once i do we will build that but i'm gonna stop labbing let's go ahead and get into some resource gathering and then perhaps we'll do a time lapse of building the rest of this out and then hopefully we'll come back to a finished result or at least i'll show you this as being finalized uh copper may be a bit of a bottleneck on this so hopefully not but let's go ahead and get on into it Stop the time lapse. I've had a change of heart. I cannot bring myself to continue with this design any longer. And I'll tell you why. This is a crap ton of copper. This is all the copper that we had. And I don't want to use all my darn copper on the dock. It's just too much of a pain. So I've come up with a, a solution and we're going to incorporate it now. What we're doing is we're going to tear all of this down. So I was originally, I was going to start going in and being like, okay, we're going to swap out copper. That is going to be the patinaed copper out for warped stuff. And uh, you know what? Screw that. I ain't doing that. Nope. Cannot deal with that. I, I, I don't mind the look of it, but I simply can't bring myself to do to do this to myself because copper is you know it's not difficult to come by uh in terms of if you go on a long mining spree it is however difficult to come by in very large quantities uh, and so you have to go like caving for hours on end which is fine but for a dock uh that i well i didn't mean to do that but i guess we can grab this for the dock, I just simply don't want to, uh, don't think the copper needs to be incorporated nearly as much. Because we are going to still continue with, hello, Drowned. We're going to continue with uh, this whole design here. This is not going to change, so we're still using copper. It's just this upper portion is not going to be copper. Uh, and that's because I just don't think that it needs to be. And quite frankly, I don't really like the design. After I looked at it further, I was like, you know what? Not my cup of tea, not my fave. So we're gonna tear it all down. So what we're doing, I know this is round two. Stick with me. I've got a plan and it's gonna be good. All right, so plan is slab, this weird chiseled block, slab, chiseled block, slab, 
chiseled block slab. And we're gonna do that all the way down like so, because this is gonna make for a nice coordinating top one, a uh, top area. I think the issue that I was having was there was too much copper going on. The more and more I looked at it, the more and more I was like, you know, that's stealing the show from the white. And uh, we're using diorite in this. I am gonna use the quartz on the dock areas and on the more important buildings, like uh, some quartz on the windmill and the quartz on the like Parthenon do doohickey that we'll eventually build. So that all said, now let's get down here. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna put bricks on the underside of the slabs. And that's gonna look just fine and dandy because then we're gonna put pillars right here. And then we're gonna put more chiseled junk right like so. Now, this copper can go away. This is gonna be covered up by a stair, I believe. Yeah, we're gonna go stair here. Right like this, this copper also gonna get covered up. So we're gonna put a stair right here and right here and right here. And boom, that is the top. That's what we're doing. It looks a lot cleaner, I think. It's gonna make for a little bit less copper being used as well. And then all the way across, we'll make a nice strong white band. I think it's gonna look good. So we're gonna have walls right here of the uh, prismarine. And then on the chiseled blocks here, we're going to have warped buttons because that will go tie in really well. And then you'll have to envision that this is all patinaed up. Oh no, we jumped off. That's okay, I can show you what it looks like. And if we take a quick look back, sorry for all the water dipping and diving, I can't control that very well. So that's what it will look like. And then on the top, just imagine all patinaed up and nice and pretty. I think that's gonna look really nice going all the way across. It's gonna be a little bit better, I think. And then down below will be a whole lot of greenery and stuff, uh, green lush life things. And so that's the plan going forward. No more of that copper nonsense. Probably won't be able to finish the copper on the wall itself. Probably we'll have to kind of deal with that, uh, but let's get back into the time lapse where we actually have a plan now going forward, okay? Okay, I'll see you at the end. All right, so this is about as far as we're going to get for today's episode. I got to say, this has been not as far. This has been a lot grindier than I wanted it to be. And it's also we're not as far as I would like to have gotten with this upper area. But I realize I completely spaced the fact that what I'd like to do to help with the transition between this block and the terracotta is I uh, we're going to use light gray terracotta to start transferring over to the this gray palette, but we need coral blocks to uh, do any sort of red tone over to our andesite. Oh, hello. Please tell me you have what I want. You don't have what I want. Well, you do have coral, which would be cool, uh, but not what I want. Um, so yeah, so we're not going to be able to get as far as I would like. I am going to go on. I have hunted around in the nearby area to try and find uh, any sort of coral. I have not found it, so I'm going to have to go exploring quite a ways. I actually may use one of those map things uh, to show me where some coral is because I do not want to explore a crazy, crazy, crazy amount of this world because 
when it comes to 118, we're going to be pretty much destroying everything outside of maybe that island and this island. Uh, everything else, we don't really have anything built. So there's no real sense in keeping it, especially with how much the terrain is going to be changing. Um, and so by the time that rolls around, I know we'll be doing some chunk editing. And so I don't really want to have to do a ton of it. So I'm, that's why I've been trying to not leave the island very much. That's why we don't even have a light show, because it's like, what's the point? I don't really I don't go anywhere. Why? Why in the world would I need a light show right now? Um, but anyways, let's take a look at this, see what we got done. And then, uh, yeah, we can keep going. So I, I I made the pathway here. I actually really, really like dig the path. I really do. I, I dug out quite a bit of uh, the monument that's over there. Um, the inside is almost entirely uh, waterless, which is cool. Um, and so this is kind of the pathway. It transitions into prismarine. And so all underwater is prismarine. And then let's let the let the thingy kick, kick in here. And then here we are. We've got a nice little walkway that we can just walk all the way down or at least swim walk down. And then I started adding in moss blocks underwater to sort of be like a dense algae mossiness. And I think it looks really good. I even ended up switching. Oh, I guess I missed a block there. Um, I ended up switching out even more of the design, dropping even more of the copper. Um, and you can tell I didn't do any of the copper here. I just am pretty tired of doing this right now. I need a break from dealing with this. The copper aspect is cool, uh, but I really just can't. <laughs> I need to do a lot of mining and I need to just get enough copper to be able to just finish this out entirely. We've got some, not a lot. Uh, and so something else we also need to do, all this is going to just keep aging, uh, which is fine for right now. I'm going to let it age all the way and then come back through and use the ax. But I think next episode, we're going to incorporate some bees over there or over here. I'm not really sure where. Um, but we're going to make a bee farm because we need some honey farm. We need a honey farm for, you know, using bees and then being able to wax these blocks. But this is what this is looking like so far. So this is what I am intending on on kind of happening is like we had this this mountain area and this pathway that went up and it's uh, been flooded. And so the, the kind of became prismarine instead of andesite kind of over time has changed the rock formation of what the path is made out of. And uh, I think it looks good so far. So we've got this pathway down here uh, and there will be we're going to set up like a station right next to this side of the dock where it's like a get ready to go underwater type station type of thingy um, to where they're going to be like selling uh, ice boots, whatever that is, Frostwalker boots, and then also selling um, some helmets or something or sea turtle helmets or I don't know exactly what uh, we will have to figure it out. But essentially, to make it so we are, we're going to do something with the cat with this uh, doohickey over here. I forget what this is called. Um, we're going to do something with this to have them set up and kind of areas to make this whole area breathable. Uh, and so that's going to be kind of like the magic of the area is going to be doing that. So they don't necessarily you can buy you can buy some helmets like to be able to breathe or uh, they've also got this kind of set up. Uh, so the end of the pathway is just going to continue on this way to connect up to the other island and it's going to look really good. But I really love the moss. I think the moss was a great addition. Um, I think it makes it feel very, very, very cool and overgrown. Um, I also want to add coral down here. But again, I haven't found coral because it is just being a pain in the batukas to get. So. We will uh, we will get it eventually. Uh, I'm going to go through and change out some of this gravel for moss as well. Um, I have learned in this process that the drowned are simply just annoying to deal with. They're not difficult to deal with. They're just annoying to deal with. And so that is uh, a fun time. Ooh, listen to that. That's creepy. But I hope you guys have enjoyed. I know this has been a little bit of an all over the place type of um, thing but i hope you have enjoyed i hope you like the end result and kind of i think it fits uh, this fits a lot better than what we originally were going with um fits better with the vibe of the area i think it's going to be really nice oh we should put some glowberries up there so up top is actually gl That'd be good so i'll go ahead and do that but yeah i think that's gonna have to do it for this episode guys if you like the video leave a like in real life and i'll see you guys in the next episode uh, bye bye